Hi, um, during this last uh, topic on open educational resources, uh, one of the students, one of you guys brought up how you use Google to get images uh, for your PowerPoints. Of course, we all do. <coughs> and I wanted to show you a way. Um, now, it's okay as long as the PowerPoint stays in the classroom. Um, what you want to do after that, though, if you're actually going to public, put it on your website, the best thing to do, really, is to now get rid of that image and put the link for it instead. However, if you don't want to go through that hassle, um, there are ways to filter your Google image searches uh, based on what you want. So I go to images. I just did that by clicking up there. Now, one problem about Google is they don't really give you a lot of the features until you actually do a search. So I'm going to put in computer and search. And see, now it finally brings this up. I mean, why it doesn't have that before, I do not know. Uh, safe search, you can filter uh, if you want to do some stuff for your own children. But anyway, I want the options. And then I want to go to this third one down, advanced search. And if I scroll all the way down, I can go to usage right. Now notice right now it's not filtered by license. So I'm going to go back here real quick just to show you all the options I have now when I type in computer. So you get the idea. Now let's go to advanced search. Go all the way down here and now I can choose. Um, not filtered, uh, free to use and share. I can use and share even commercially. So if it's something I want to change, that's like I said, for some I can kind of consider this um, to me is really more the word open. Although I've seen some people argue that it doesn't necessarily have to mean free. But this part is key, that you can use it any way you want. Then it's truly open. You can modify it. You can share it with whomever you want to share it with. And you can make money from the product that you then create or change. So this is probably the most open. Uh, what I usually go to then is free to use or share. I don't want to change it. I just want to throw it into the PowerPoint and I don't want to sell it. So I'm going to choose that one. Click on advanced search. And now supposedly these are um, free. You see it hasn't really changed a whole lot. Uh, the You're a little more protected here, but one thing I've noticed too, and I like this guy. So I'll click on him. It says commonswikipedia.org. So actually usually if it's under commons, uh, creative commons, that kind of tells me, is an indicator that maybe this one is really free to use and share. But notice, um, even though Google has that as the option, look at this down here. I've noticed that recently. Images may be subject to copyright. So they're saying, well, you know what? We gave this to you under your search filter of free to use and share, but we're not going to say it's really free to use and share. So you still want to go to the website and kind of see. And you can see it's Wikimedia Commons. So if it's on, and plus, and that's another thing too, if it's on Wiki, uh, Wiki if it's on Wikimedia, um, then it's usually one, or Wikipedia, I mean, I'm sorry, it's usually one you can use. Uh, these little, for those who aren't familiar, um, that usually means that the background is transparent. So whatever I put it on, it will have that color of the background. So you'll really just see these guys. Anyway, Wiki, uh, Wikimedia Commons has stuff that's free to use and share too. But if I went to another, I'm kind of curious, and that's on Wikipedia. So I think most of these, yeah, I think if you look, okay, let's go to this one, though, because that says Deviant. So this is a different site that's not related to Wiki. And if I go here, so you can see it's something that she, so Meg draws. Okay, yeah, Linux, that makes sense because you have the penguin with them. So here's your... Okay, here is your, it's commissioned. So to promote Ubuntu, which is a kind of um, OS. So it may not necessarily, it says Creative Commons, so you're going to have to dig a little deeper and possibly ask the author if you can use that picture. So even though it did come up under the Google uh, free to use and share, not necessarily true. So again, you're going to have to, like, like if you see, like I said, what alerted me was the fact it wasn't a wiki. Um, Flickr, generally there's a lot of free on there, but again, you're going to want to go there and see what it is coming from and see if you can find any kind 
Civil Rights Reserved. So if you click on here, now you can see their Creative Commons and what they used. So now you know you can um, you can share it and you can remix it. And what I do sometimes too, especially if I'm putting it on um, out there in public view, I'll try to save these. You know, I'll try to have figure out you know show that I or at least put the date or the the um, link um, that shows that I do I do have permission to use that. It just depends um, on obviously your time restrictions, but you want to just kind of show that you do have permission to use it. Um, for public consumption. All right, I hope that helps.